You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video, we are going to take a close look at a new system that I picked up from AliExpress. So this is from the brand Retroid. The model number is the Z. D02, the Mega Drive 2 or the MD2 Genesis gaming system. But when it comes to these Sega systems, it's always like a hit or miss. And I just picked up a couple of them just to see if there are any good ones out there. Like the original systems, depending where you're living, some countries they are like dirty cheap, sometimes they are like quite expensive. But I'm just curious, what are we going to get? And again, is it really worth picking up? They're having like all kinds of modes they're using. This is the model number two. And I must say that it is a quite interesting one. So we do have like the on and off switch and the reset. It doesn't feel like the original system. We do have the option to play original game. We're going to play in a couple of them just to see how they work out. The controller is not bad at all. But you're going to get a very nice A, B, X, Y, Z button. It's the same layout like the original controller. Then we have like the start button feels very nice. The only difference I've noticed like the d-pad is com I would say completely different it is a little bit higher than your typical one like your sega original controller or an other clone i must say it doesn't feel that bad but it plays kind of strange by holding it we also have like the mode button it comes with a very yeah, thin but very long cable with the original connection then we have like the two original controller ports I didn't show you before. I think it's pretty damn cool that we can even use original controls if you just want to play with something else or like an arcade stick it doesn't matter Let's go in to try it out and let's see what we're going to get. I want to be clear, there is no way of adding a Sega CD function. A little bit of a bummer, that would be like a very cool thing, but no, unfortunate with these clones, it's not possible. But the next step, I just wanted to see what can we actually play with it, because that is almost like the question, especially when it comes to combination cards and other things. So that's what we're going to also try. Not only the sound and the visual quality, I just wanted to see like what can we actually play with this thing. All right, so for the first test, I wanted to try Sonic and Knuckles. Let's reset it, and I must say when you're listening to the intro, not like the Sega, but especially the intro of the Sonic & Knuckles game, you can just hear. That's like how it should like, sound, so that is absolutely garbage. In the next test, I'm going to implement Sonic 3 with it. Let's try the combination card. A lot of clones do have issues with this. But so far I can see it works perfectly. Still have like this weird sound going on, but so that is pretty damn cool. So let's boot it up, let's do a quick gameplay. Man, this sounds so off. Doop, 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 doop. That sounds so weird. Especially, especially this, I can dream this soundtrack. Oh. Okay, so let's boot up some virtual racing. And the only thing I'm going to get is a yellow screen with this machine. So unfortunate with my version I'm having with virtual racing in a system, it doesn't work. Okay, so next up I wanted to try the Xeno Crisis. That's basically more like a new released game. Oh boy, this sounds so weird. But we don't have any issues when it comes to the gameplay itself. I don't know if I configured correctly. Yep. So the overall experience with the controller is great. I already mentioned before, the D-pad feels kind of weird at the beginning. But also the soundtrack sounds completely different from the original, or better the original system. Alright, so it's a little bit of a bummer. So if you're looking at some of the games, they have that stupid region lock. And the same with Super Street Fighter. So if you're going to turn it around, we're going to switch it to the different region. It's basically set to Japanese, or Japan. Then we're going to set to the O, or better set like the American systems. But we do get the same message, so unfortunately we do have some limitation. We don't have every single region that we're going to need, especially if you're having Paul like me. Another thing I wanted to try are these cheap, let's say, flash cards. Would be a cool combination, have an HDMI system in combination with this flash card. So let's turn it on. Let's see if it's going to be booting up the ever drives from China. Here you can see like it works. Let's play the game. And you can see like it works perfectly without any problem. So that's pretty damn awesome. So that is something we're going to try out. We're also going to do a sound test with this game. Let's boot it up quickly. Oh, that sound. That beep, beep, beep. It's not like it should be. Oh, 
Okay, so next up I want to try the Mega Everdrive. It's basically a different version. The original grids, just to see. Here you can see like it works like a charm. Let's boot it up into the game. And no problem whatsoever. So it's a cool combination to basically have like an HDMI functionality in the system and having a flash card. So it basically can play everything that you want now. So yeah, I already did a quick gameplay and I told you like the audio is pretty damn bad, but I still want to do the sound test for the people who are familiar with Street of Rage number two. So let's boot it up. So here we go, do have like the problem again with the region lock. I, I think this thing or this card which can be used in the Japanese region. So I think it will like boot up now and show bare knuckle. I'm saying it correctly. Yeah, so it also like shows you like the region lock actually works or better said like the region different. But let's do a quick testing with the audio itself. So this is what we're going to get with the audio quality. I'm not surprised. If you're familiar like to these systems, you know like it's always going to be like a hit or miss. And unfortunate, the audio quality is not like it's supposed to be. And it's absolutely bummer because this system has a lot of potential. Especially when you're looking at just the way how the game plays. The controller is good quality. And when you're looking at the visual quality, everything is very nice. It's just music that is completely messed up. For the final test I want to combine this with the 201 multi game card. You can see it boots up without any problem and we do have like the origin, we can just use an original Sega controller, in this case it's a retro bit version and can use it on the system without any hassle. Super convenient, let's boot up a game. So we can see that we do have like the right system here, you can see like the region still set to Japanese so it recognized the game without any problem. So in that case multi game cards also work on the system. But okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with the Retroid Mega Drive number 2 or the ATD Ultra 2. I'm gonna say that I'm a little bit disappointed with, but also at the same time I'm not really disappointed because I was thinking we're going to get the same stuff that we have seen before. If you have seen my videos, there are a lot of like Sega clones out there. This is one of the best ones, but unfortunately the audio quality is pretty damn bad. But I thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become a wicked family, and it would be great to see you in the next video.